Okay guys, we're out here at Silver Park. Uh, Dan, Captain SC's got uh, his new ultimate coil. How big is that thing anyway? 13 inches. 13 inch. It's penetrating down to the center of the earth here. <laughs> He's got a really deepy, we think like over 10 inches, maybe That's more. The E-Track, I could barely hear it. So, we're keeping our fingers crossed here for deep silver. Dry ground. Yeah. At least it doesn't have rocks. <laughs> I, hate, I hate those rocks and pebbles. They're just slow you up. This is uh, virgin clay. This is what we like to see. None of that fill. I'm surprised the farmers could even grow anything out here. It's sounding good, still. Uh, Dan pulled, uh, what, a Merc and a Rosie? Or two Rosie? Two, two Mercs out of here last time I was here. And a handful of uh, Wheaties. Sounding better all the time. Sound like silver, huh? <laughs> Sounds good. This is going to be a long dig since it's so deep. Oh, it's getting harder. That's the resist. You're getting down to the resistance zone. Now oh, it's sounding sweeter every inch. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's recuperated for about four day, five days here from his... Uh, big hunt before so he's ready to dig wow silver silver oh my gosh yes. that new Woo. that new coils paid yeah. off you would never I would have walked right past that baby I don't know what it is yet it's like a mark or Merc. Merc. 16D, uh, right? Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> it came up, uh, came I up clean. I can't make it out yet. I'll have to get my loop. Yeah, I can't either. There's a stain right on the <sighs> second part of the date. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. You're paying off that uh, new coil one coin at a time. It's a 1941. 41. All right. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> That's great. At least we got some. Okay, Ca Captain Essie's got another deepy. It's about uh, three feet away from that other one I just got. Yeah. And the E-Track picks it up at about 12 inches deep. It's barely audible. His With that coil, he gets about twice as better sound than mine. But I can hear it. So, all right, I'm going to cut and we're going to uh, show you when we get down a little deeper. All right, we're, we're, what are you down, about six inches, yeah, eight six inches? six inches right now. He's getting that sweet, sweet silver tone again. He's gonna clean out this park with the, with that new coil. And this park's already been hunted to death. Very hard. Must be a merc that deep. Sound better all the time. Maybe it's a quarter. I don't know. <laughs> what were the numbers you don't even you can't even tell really? Oh, wait, huh? I see it. You see it? Oh, is it silver? Can't tell. Silver! Silver again! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can't tell. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's Canadian. Canadian silver. Canadian, <laughs> it's Canadian silver. silver. I wonder what date it is. Yeah, I'll find out. Oh, that's old. Yeah. <laughs> Being down that road, it's in the 20s or something. Yeah, I looked at the back. I thought, oh my gosh. It sort of looked like a. Oh, I can't make it out. I'm going to have to rub, get some water on it. All right. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll get back. Water. All right, we got one more here in the same general vicinity. Ryan came up uh, 1445 with the E-Track. 
I'm not. Sounds good. It's deep. 11 inch. 11 inches, I think. I don't know. It's sounding good again. The ultimate coil is giving the ultimate coin. <laughs> All Dan has to do is dig them. <laughs> It finds them for you. They work. They work as a team. <laughs> His partner. Deep. Ten or eleven inches. <clears throat> it, a forty-five would be. That would be silver. I think he's got it up. No. Fell in. What is it? Memorial? Yep. <laughs> 1959. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he snuck up on us. Alright. Dan found uh, a, new, a new iffy signal. How deep was that? That was about uh, seven to Se eight. Seven to eight. It turns out to be a little piece of a silver ring. Take a look at that. Can you see that? Oh, it's nice. It's ornate. Definitely it's homemade. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Maybe you can find the rest. Yeah, maybe. It's right around here. Yeah, that was cool. Very it sounded cool. good. I could hear it on the E-track. It sounded awesome. pretty good. It's super deepy here. Dance. Well, we've already been here like an hour or a little more. Yeah. This Sheesh. is about a nine. This is easy ten. Ten or eleven He's inches. dug, uh, what, the two two dimes and a couple Wheaties and that ring. So. I don't have any time to hunt. I'm always filming. <laughs> but it just sounds good. I, I could barely get a signal. Can't get down on any that. deeper. Barely get a signal. All right, let me get back with you. We got a one foot deep uh, weedy. 1940. 1940. Foot. It's past the uh, pro pinpointer, so just a little bit past it. That was a deepy. Yeah, very All deep. All right, good hunt. Is your machine on or off? No, it's on. I think it's giving me a little havoc. Yeah, Dana Point Mike. It's on the board, right across from this uh, ch big church over here. So he got himself a chain's got to be here. Let me grab this little thing, a little uh, Jesus on the cross type thing. There's no marking on it. It's, it's pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy, huh? Yeah, it's like a quarter or more. He's looking for the chain now. He said it had a good, uh, good sound, but a little bit sinky. But. Cut it short. Dan's got a silver uh, Washington here. Yeah, 1941. 1941 is only about six inches down. Not yeah, even that, five about inches. That. Sheesh. You have a really good signal. You didn't need that big coil for this thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. Good lord. Okay, I gotta go dig my uh, signal. Hey guys, it's Mark the Flat Hunter. Uh, that was a pretty good hunt today. Um, Dan, uh, SE, SE, Captain SE, Dan, he. Uh, was showing it, showing us his new uh, larger coil there for his uh, SE Pro, and uh, boy, that thing really goes deep. He really proved that he can dig uh, deep, deep silver. You know, it was uh, getting uh, 11 inch, 12 inch coins with that thing. It was just phenomenal. You know, I, I went and checked, and I could barely hear him with the E track. I'm 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 learning. I'm like a Padawan, you know. So uh, you know, I, I gotta learn from these guys. Uh, Dan dug, uh, first he dug the uh, Merc, and then the silver, uh, the silver Canadian dime that was really deep, and I mean, he even dug like 12 inch deep memorials, you know, <laughs> boy, because it was all over the place, and his uh, silver quarter find, you know, was just a few inches deep, wasn't that, I think it was four or five inches deep, uh, any one of us would have found it if we would have walked over to the spot, so, you know, it shows, uh, no park is uh, hunted out, you know, that was a spot just nobody had ever walked over and dug that spot. Um, Dana Point Mike, he came in a little bit later. Uh, he got the uh, the Silver Cross and a, uh, what do you get, uh, the Roosevelt, Silver Roosevelt. So, you know, it was a good hunt. I, I ended up with two Wheaties and a bunch of clad, and uh, 
I mean, I had targets that sounded really good. They're really deep, uh, but it turned out to be like clad dimes or memorials. So uh, I don't know. I'm never that lucky with these guys. So uh, you know, but I'm learning. It, it was a great opportunity for me. Uh, you know, I don't really have any coins to show on the wrap up. Uh, just wanted to do a little commentary here. Uh, I might be buying that new uh, that new coil myself. You know, it seems to be a really nice. It's it's as good or better than the. Uh, e-track coil the standard coil that comes with it so all right until the next video uh, happy hunting and good luck